you know, sometimes I think these folks come on the job and they just look for anything to bitch about. Even over things that are completely harmless. And that is a problem, ladies and gentlemen, that I see happening a lot. You know, if they're not complaining about your hair, they're complaining about just something, you know. It's always something on these jobs and in these schools when it comes down to us. So this came out in the New York Post, January 3rd, 2020. Texas fast food worker says she was told to leave due to hijab. So, all right, let me see if I can play this. So you can... The experience is live. Jurassic World Live Tour. Tour begins September 2019. Anyway, when I'm not here, I wear it. Okay, that's a different thing. That's outside of your personal life. Outside. But it's a part of my religion, though, so I just feel like if I work here, y'all could be able to accustom my religion. Your to do with religion. Well, I read the handbook, and in the handbook, it doesn't say anything about us not being able to wear religious headpieces or anything about it religion. It doesn't. It says you have to follow the Chicken Express uniform policy, and it lists out what it is. And it doesn't involve anything else. Well, I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm I saying I'll either have the fire mirror send me home, but I'm not gonna stop wearing it. Okay. I don't know what to tell you either. I had the discussion with Tamara. We'll have the discussion with Corey, and they'll make the decision. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm serious. Do these people meet great kids? better to do than always worry about what black people are doing <laughs> i'm serious you know uh so this happened in texas at a fast food joint called chicken express a texas woman who recently converted to islam was sent home from her job after refusing to remove her jihad according to reports stephanie Coleman, 22, converted to Islam in August and started working at Chicken Express in Saginaw in October upon her brother's recommendation. But a manager took exception to her religious headscarf when she wore it to work for the first time on Monday, the Dallas Morning News reports. Prior to her hiring, Coleman said she told her supervisor that she planned to soon wear a hijab. She later found nothing in an employee handbook about the garment worn by some Muslim women. She told the newspaper, If that was going to be a problem, I wouldn't have applied, Coleman said. This is part of my religion. But Coleman learned otherwise during a confrontation with her manager who told her to remove anything without the Chicken Express logo. The video shows, your job is your job, the manager said, according to the footage posted by Coleman on Twitter. Your job has nothing to do with religion. So this is how she looked. Okay, so this is what she looked like with her hijab on. Which I don't see anything wrong. I mean, it's neat. It's not. It just looks fine. You know, a lot of people, you know, depending on who they are, will cover their hair. And this should not be an issue, you know. It's almost like you can't win. If you wear your hair out, that's a problem. If you don't wear your hair and you cover it up, that's a problem. If you have locks, that's a problem. If you have an afro, that's a... <laughs> if you have corn rolls, everything's a damn problem up in this society. Every damn thing's a problem. <sighs> and we get sick of it. Coleman then noted 
that the fast food chain's policy said nothing about a ban on religious headpieces, the footage shows. It says you have to follow the Chicken Express uniform policy, and it lists out what it is, the manager replied. And it doesn't involve anything else. All right, so if that being said, then why are you hassling this woman? Coleman refused to remove her jihab and left the restaurant before walking across the street to cry in a Subway restaurant, the newspaper reports. What he did was wrong, she said. You shouldn't send someone home for their religion. An attorney for the franchise owner, meanwhile, said in a statement that he apologized to Coleman and claimed the manager's remarks were due to a lack of training. CBS News reports, the manager was using a strict interpretation of the company's policy that does not allow deviations from the standard employee uniform and he unfortunately did not take religious liberty into consideration the state the statement read coleman was allowed to wear her jihab to work tuesday but left early after other employees called her a fake muslim what oh my goodness this girl needs some legal assistance that's what she really needs the dallas morning news reports she now is considering legal action against the regional fast food chain she needs to do that she needs to do that i mean between this manager and those employees in there they were way out of line you know once the company determined she could come back and wear her hijab, that should have been the end of it, right there. When she returned back to work, she should not have been hassled by the employees that were working there. And the manager should have checked with the company before asking her to leave. So this was just not handled right all the way around. The way I see it, this woman needs to get legal representation to see where she stands. You know, it wasn't that deep that she had her head covering on. I don't see how this stops her from having the ability to do her job on a regular basis because she's wearing a hijab. So what? She's one of millions in this country that wear a head covering. Many women do. Now, granted, there are some companies that do have an issue with that. But she said this was not even in the handbook. It was nothing about this in there. You know... It, it just seems like everything we do is a problem, you know, and this is how, you know, we are not truly free at all. Not at all. Everything's a problem. If, you know, I, I just get sick of this. It, it just seems like these things tend to occur a lot more on jobs and in places of business. It's always someone there that got to hassle us over our hair or over what you got on your head if it's a head covering. If it's not one thing, it's another. And it's just draining after a while. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.